Supergirl has returned once again as the final season continues. We just got back from a huge break. It was honestly, I think it was like four or five months here. It was a long time ago. I think it was like back in May when we had our last episode of the season. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. So I'm definitely glad to see that this show is now back to round out this season and the series because, again, this is the final season. And now that Superman and Lois ended its season last week, now we're coming back to Supergirl. Which is definitely exciting because when it came to the first half of this season, I wasn't the biggest fan, especially because like Kara was just in the Phantom Zone the whole time and like everything that was going on wasn't really that cool. I did like the cool, um, the two part mid veil episodes. Those were my favorites. But other than that, there wasn't really too much I was impressed by in the first half. But this episode, I think this was a great start to the back half of this season. This is of course, season six, episode eight. And speaking of that, Episode 8 just aired, and I was wondering, like, all right, so how many episodes are there in this season? There's 20 episodes in this season, so that is a lot more than I thought there'd be. So we still have, like, 12 episodes left of the season, or maybe it's 11. Or is it 12? Honestly, I don't even know. I, I'm kind of bad at math. But, um, yeah, there's, like, a lot of episodes left of this season, which I'm really surprised by. But, you know what, if the rest of the episodes are as good as this one, I'm all for it. So, anyways, guys, before... Um, we get too far into this video. Spoiler warning if you've not yet seen Supergirl Season 6, Episode 8, because we are talking full spoilers, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So the episode starts off following up after we where we left off last episode where the super friends have now retrieved Supergirl and she is now back on Earth. She has escaped the Phantom Zone, so we have a cool little welcome home Kara party. That was pretty cool to see. See everybody reuniting. That was really awesome. But something we see Kara dealing with in this episode is basically a form of PTSD from spending that time in the Phantom Zone. She doesn't even want to hear the word Phantom. She's like, I, I don't care if it's like Star Wars prequels or Scooby-Doo. I can't handle it. And yeah, Phantom Menace, Star Wars, and then Scooby-Doo. Oh yeah, Scooby-Doo. I mean, Scooby-Doo obviously has monsters in every episode, but now the thing about it that most of the time it's phantoms or ghosts but like even when it's not like a regular ghost it's like oh ghost bear or like ghost clown like scooby-doo does a lot of ghost stuff um so don't don't blame Kara for not wanting to get into that but i'm a big fan of scooby-doo so um, i really enjoyed those references here in this episode though but anyway, alongside Kara, her father Zor-El also returned to Earth. And we get to see him trying to live, uh, basically do a day in the life of Kara, see what it's like at her work and all that stuff. Just trying to get used to Earth customs. And he does some scans and notices that Earth's oceans are dying. And he sees the signs that are showing basically, this is like what happened with Krypton. Same thing happened there. Their oceans were dying. And that was the tipping point point that led to the destruction of Krypton. So he thinks the Earth is going to get destroyed and he wants to help. He wants to do something about it because obviously he wasn't able to do anything about it when it came to Krypton. So he wants to see if he can do something here. So that is when Kara actually takes him back to the Fortress of Solitude where he meets up with Kellex and we see him actually modify Kellex into a new version of that robot character and now he's named Oscar. And this new version of Kellex, aka Oscar, is now able to absorb trash and turn it into energy. So then he sends the robot out, out into the ocean to start cleaning up the oceans, absorbing all of the trash, and basically keep the oceans from dying. But of course, things backfire, things do not go as planned, and something goes wrong. So basically, Oscar ends up being a trash magnet. It gets all over him, and he turns into this giant trash robot monster, which honestly look really cool. Like, the CGI on this monster look pretty darn cool. So I did enjoy seeing that here. And obviously, the battle didn't last too long. Obviously, they were able to take him down pretty easily due to uh, Brainy coming up with this cool virus. So they were able to take down the trash monster but still was a cool battle that i enjoyed seeing here in this episode and as we get into the end of this zorel actually decides that he is going to leave earth and he is going to go reunite with alora back on argo city so i'm not sure if we're going to see him again next episode because like the way they left it off in this episode like it was pretty clear that he was leaving but also I don't know, maybe, maybe he'll show up again at least some point in the season. We'll kind of have to wait and see. Uh, but for now, he's he's gone on his way to Arco City. 
Meanwhile, in this episode, we also have Andrea, who is up to some mischievous stuff because obviously she is like obsessed with basically being the number one news outlet in the world and all that stuff. So um, she gives William this new assignment to make profiles on the super friends. She wants because she realized like Catco has such a strong connection to Supergirl they made Supergirl who she is so they figure like oh yeah we can do the same thing for the rest of the super friends and that'll really give us the edge against our competition but meanwhile we also have Andrea also using her amulet again going around do, doing some shady stuff with her powers um so she's she's got some interesting stuff going on here as well and then something I was really not expecting is at the end of the episode, Lena actually leaves. She decides she's going to go back to her childhood home. And this is something that makes sense for her character, but also was like really sudden. Like, I feel like it was kind of weird. Like, there wasn't really that much of a build up to this. There wasn't the last episode with her whole Kelpie thing, but it, I wasn't really expecting it to go here. And she just leaves. And I have, uh, this was similar to the, to the Zora one where I'm not sure, like, is she coming back? Like, did she just leave the show permanently? Or is she coming back in the season? I really don't know for sure. I mean, they've got to have her come back because she's such an important character to the show. And she, the only person she told was leaving is Nia. Which, speaking of uh, this whole decision from Lena, actually, I think inspires Nia to now she's going to want to go back to her childhood home as well because we saw throughout this episode that she still wants to know more about her powers there's still so much more that she doesn't know and so she um keeps saying like I wish I could have talked to my mother and all this stuff so maybe she will go back to her childhood home and maybe there's something there or maybe she can visit her mother in her dreams or something like that I think that'd be pretty interesting but speaking of her dreams the ending shot of this episode is Nia actually waking up from a dream and the first thing she says is Nixley. Of course, Nixley is the imp that we saw in the Phantom Zone that in the last episode actually escaped through um, the help of Supergirl and the Super Friends. But obviously, they don't know she hitched a ride. She kind of just hopped along on their ship. And so now she is out there somewhere on Earth. So clearly it looks like she's being set up here to be a villain. I'm not sure if she's going to be the main villain for the rest of the season. It looks like she will be at least for the first half here. Maybe she'll help out the team again we don't know for sure uh there's really a lot of questions here and again we have like 11 or 12 episodes so we got plenty of time and i'm really excited to see where this goes but anyways guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below what did you think about supergirl season six episode eight and where do you want to see this season go in the final episodes of this series so of course as always thanks so much for watching please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so i can keep up to date on if goes on in the DC life.